Well, today is a, basically a public presentation that I'm going to be making on Blood Hand, and uh, which of course fits in with the whole week's activities in the college. It's all this is very, very important because basically we do have to change Britain. We are going into Brexit, of course, now, which means Britain's got to stand up on its own two feet and it's got to start manufacturing and it's got to start exporting. And um, basically, we've got a shortage of scientists and engineers. So this is what Bloodhound's all about. It's growing very fast now. And to give you an idea, in 2016, physically engaged with about 100,000 school kids. So, uh, you know, it's really beginning to grow now. It's really very good. Basically, I help the um, younger people at school with their Connect cars. The objective was try and find the fastest car, and then if they get the fastest car, they get put on the um, wing of the uh, Bloodhound. Basically, the country's got to change. It's really got to change, and our manufacturing at the moment is only around there by eight percent of gross domestic product, whereas it should be somewhere around about twenty. And now we're um, uh, disconnecting from Europe, this country's really got a manufacture now and it's got to export and it's got to trade like never before. So there's going to be fantastic opportunities, I'm convinced. So it's been a great inspiration to make, make, make push more to get into the motor vehicle industry. We've just done the Bloodhound event where we create our own car. We've had to counting all the mass, the force and everything to go as fast as possible. It's quite impressive to have it and for it to go a thousand miles per hour for the fastest, it's going to be amazing to just see it and let alone if it goes on TV, it'll be amazing to hear it break the sound barrier in a few seconds. Yeah, he taught us a lot about the Newton's laws of motion. The lighter your car will be, the faster it'll travel. And then fast it'll get up to speed. We wanted to create a design that would sort of cut through the air. I suppose you see some of the ones that are quite blunt at the end, they, they just smash the air, this will cut through it. I've learned that weight and aerodynamics is really important when it comes to speed and distance. I think it's quite amazing that it's here to be honest, the fact that it's like the fastest car and we get to see it in person and doing the activity we've been doing today with making fast cars is ace. What the country needs more than anything else is more scientists, more engineers and more skills. We need to encourage the kids and realise that you know there is um, there are some very, very exciting careers to be had in terms of engineering and science. 